The journey for Kayla Banworth and Ole Miss Volleyball would begin in December of 2019 when the school announced a new direction for the program. I fell in love with Ole Miss. I came down to my visit and just fell in love with Oxford, fell in love with the campus. The facilities here are amazing. I love the fact that it's a college town, um, similar to Lincoln, where I obviously grew up in college and, and spent some time there coaching. The fact that we have our own gym and we don't share with anybody is rare in college volleyball. And I, I have this really strong vision that Ole Miss can, can really be a special volleyball program. Heading to Oxford with Banworth were assistant coaches Maggie Scott and Bo Lawler. So Bo, he came with me from Nebraska. Working with him at Nebraska and seeing his knowledge of the statistical side of the game was really impressive. I had a good job that I liked a lot, but my favorite part of the day was when I'd clock out at five o'clock and I'd go, I'd go coach. Um, whether it was some, some club volleyball or I coached a few other sports, just the challenge of preparing some, some young athletes to compete that weekend was, was really exciting for me. And then Maggie um, is, I would say she's kind of the, the yin to my yang, right? She's the super bubbly personality where I'm a little bit more laid back and quiet. She is so easy to talk to and just the sweetest type person um, who, who makes a great recruiting coordinator. And on top of that, she was a stud setter at Oregon. When Kayla called me, I was obviously really interested in working for her. Like something that was really important for me is like I wanted to work under a female head coach. The fact that they had really invested in volleyball by like we have the new facility, like they had just gone out and gotten a head coach and everything there seemed really appealing. and above everything else too is like I just really wanted like the challenge of being able to take this program to the next level. What gets me really excited is is to put the first one up there to win the first national championship at a place that that hasn't done that before. Easton out to bear down the line big kill for the Rebels. Yes 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 and then Old Miss is rewarded with winning the point. Locked back and a point for the Rebels. I think it was Carvacho again. You only need to look at the successful past of Banworth to see why Rebel fans are excited for the future of the program. Her as a player at Nebraska, I mean, she came into the program when they had some of their most notorious, so to speak, All-Americans. To go there as a walk-on and then halfway through her freshman year earn a starting role. I think it speaks to Kayla's resiliency and her determination, her hard work. I was raised to work my butt off, to be very disciplined, to set big goals, and to just go after those goals with everything I have. Of course, when I decided to come here, I did my research and I was just like, I don't know how she does what she did. <laughs> and she still does it, like when she plays with us in practice. I remember watching her and she just has so much passion when she plays. Um, and obviously she was an amazing passer. I just kind of put my head down every day and, and grind it out every day and eventually ended up in a starting position. And, and you know, all these kind of things kept happening for me. but. It didn't seem abnormal to me, just because that's how I was brought up to be. In addition to an all-time career at Nebraska, Banworth would go to compete for six years on the U.S. Olympic team, capturing multiple gold medals. The way USA works is, you know, there's this pool of 20 to 30 athletes in the gym at one time. And, you know, say the World Championship tournament is coming up, maybe a week or 10 days before that tournament, they pick the roster from those those 30-ish athletes. If you're on Team USA and you're in the Team USA pipeline, you're basically in a tryout 24-7. Every day is a tryout. Every day they're they're selecting rosters. You're you're being scored 
every touch you make is being statted um, and they they select these rosters a week out from the tournament so you have to be in a mindset where like you're just going to take it one day at a time you're going to do the best you can and then just kind of see what happens so when she was playing in the olympics um i was still in college and so i remember like our whole team like obviously watched as much as we could i remember watching her play in the last olympics i was really young but my mom and i like love watching all olympic sports together so i remember seeing her on the court and watching her play as like a young volleyball player and now having the opportunity to have her as my coach and learn from one of the best in the business has been super awesome. She was part of the USA squad that won the first ever gold medal. Just to keep kind of achieving these milestones and these first um, is something that she has continued to do. You gotta be able to, you gotta be willing to grind. You gotta be willing to put the hours in, you gotta be willing to put the work in because opportunities will arise opportunities will present themselves and you're either going to be ready for them when they do or you're not. So if we're in the gym and we're and we're grinding and we're working hard and we're doing things the right way and we're not taking shortcuts in the gym, then we'll be prepared when these opportunities arise. While hard work and dedication can lead to the pinnacle of success, life outside of the gym is oftentimes more rewarding. In March of 2020, Kayla and Bo would welcome into the world their son, Maverick Lawler. Maverick just turned a year old um, on the 11th. That's, yep, that's a big reason why this was one of the best years of my life. Um, and the most challenging years of, my, years of my life. After the first month, you start to learn better habits as being a parent and it starts to feel a little more natural, a little more comfortable. You're not terrified all the time. Um, you're not jumping at, at any sound. Taking over a program, moving to a new place, having a son in a global pandemic <laughs> was um, was not easy, but yeah, Maverick is is everything to me, so he's, he's made it all worth it. Having Maverick has definitely taught me how to be um, more selfless with my time. It's taught me how to have a little more balance. Uh, it's definitely taught me how to be a better partner for Kayla. I think it helps me be a better coach and, and be a little more patient. I don't know what I would do with Alpo. He's he's somehow morphed into like super dad, um, and he's absolutely my partner. And he makes things easier on me. Hopefully, I'm making things easier on him. And for us to be able to just kind of tag team this whole adventure and and know that we have each other's backs and you know we'll do whatever we have to do to help each other and, and help each other be successful um, has been has been very reassuring in all this this is Minnie she's been with me about four years um, and she's, yeah, she's four years old. Oh, be nice. <laughs> hey, you smelling all the good smells, huh, man? Oh, yeah, say hi. Hi. What's her name? Minnie. This is Stevie. Oh, my gosh. The, the community in Oxford is, is really special, so I've loved living in Oxford so far. Um, and the Ole Miss athletics community is is such a cool family type atmosphere that um, I've just I've fallen in love. I've fallen in love with Ole Miss. I wish I could let her off leash, but you're supposed to keep your dogs on a leash. She loves like chasing after squirrels, and God forbid there's a goose around because she'll be gone. Minnie, come here, baby. Minnie, come. How weird is this year going to be? It's it's been so bizarre and like it's it's you know you get to that point where it's like okay like it'll be over soon it'll be over soon it'll be over soon and then all of a sudden a year passes and it's like oh wow i can't believe a year's already gone by um and the season is is obviously this kind of you know morphed 10 month season that's pretty long and, and the schedule's pretty gnarly for the girls so um it's 
it's been really weird and I'm I'm definitely ready for all this COVID stuff to get over as I'm sure everybody is um, and maybe make things a little bit less crazy for us. You know, I think our girls have done an exceptional job dealing with the circumstances that have been presented to them and dealing with all the change that's been now just a part of their day-to-day -day life. I'll say I think that like this year and like with all the adversity that like we've faced as a coaching staff that our student athletes have faced, I'm so excited to see how that contributes to our success in the future. Just with the growth that I've seen in this year in general, Despite all the obstacles that we've had this year, it's been absolutely crazy, but I see really big things coming for this program. We're going to be a completely different team after this season, and we just get to see what the start is now, and we know that there's going to be a really bright future ahead of us. I think we have done a good job of, of teaching the, the Rebels what Rebel Volleyball is all about. Um, we've done a good job laying a foundation and, and seeing enough glimpses of success that they're they're motivated to to get after it uh, in the coming years. I believe that Ole Miss is a place where we can win championships. We can contend for SEC titles year in and year out. We can make deep NCAA tournament runs and I see no reason why Ole Miss cannot become a Final Four team. So that's the vision. That's, that's what I believe is possible for this program. Um, and that's the goal.